Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth, Bessie Goth. We're going to be doing an overview of 13 Reasons Why. I'm going to do an update and everything. So, yay! So, alright, let's get started. My hair's all sticking up. As you notice, I got my hair cut, finally. I got it, let it grow too far, so, yeah. Anyways, um, let me see what I've been doing. I've been reading, I finally read... Um, finish Preppy's books, which is awesome. I'm gonna be reviewing that probably sometime next week. I'll do a video video on that. Let's see what else. Um, I'm I'm doing I'm reading I'm actually no listening an audiobook on Saw Girls, Saw Kill Girls by um what's her name. Don't remember, but um, doing Saw Girls, Saw Kill Girls. I do remember that name, but um, anyways, I'm doing Saw. Um, listening to that, and it's getting good, very um, pretty good so far. Um, the narrator is I like her voice. She kind of reminds me of this one narrator on um. Um, uh, Mayfair Witches by, um, Anne Rice. She kind of reminds me of her, that narrator, because I liked her voice, so. Anyways, I'm on, I think I'm on chapter two on that, um, audiobook. I'm kind of bummed that I can't do updates on Goodreads on audiobooks. So, is there, a, I wonder if there's a way you could do it. I'm going to try and do it on my on my tablet but I'm assuming there's no way you could do it so I probably either gonna do updates on my Instagram on Bessie Goth. Um I did let's see what else I do been doing. Oh I watched the ten, ten Bendy um tapes on um Netflix. I watched that God it was so creepy I got was I had nightmares for like days I guess or two days or whatever. It's very creepy. The smile is creepy. It's just the whole thing is creepy. Um I watched I finished The Innocent Man or In Innocent Man by it's based on John Grisham's book. It's really good. Um what else? That's basically it. Um now I'm watching um, the ABC 2020 on My Father is BTK. I know I'm like getting all into the serial killer thing, so it's probably not good, but whatever. Um, but that's basically it. Um, I'm still trying to. I kind of got out of um, Vampire Diaries for a little while, so I'm probably gonna get back into that after. I watch all the serial killer things. Oh, and I watch the assass the assassination of Johnny Versace, and that's really good. Um, I might do an overview on that because the guy that played um, the killer, you he, he was on Glee, and I loved him. So he's a really good actor, and he was really he did really good. Even the guy that played Johnny did really good. So. I will, I think it's a good series, and they did one on OJ, I don't know if I want to watch that, because it has, um, uh, Koopa Jr. on it, and it does, he does, um, OJ, and I don't know if I want to watch it, I'm gonna try, I tried to watch him on the, I think it was on season... Five, I think, and it was based. It was kind of based on what's catched on video and stuff, and it was okay. I just not really big fan of his acting. He's been not doing very good acting lately. The only movie I really liked him on was uh, Jerry Maguire and Radio. So, 
Anyways, alright, let's go to the, my overview on 13 Reasons Why. Um, I think I'm going to be doing spoilers in the end, but if there might be some spoilers on during this part too, so if you guys don't want to get spoiled, don't watch, I guess. You can watch if you want to get spoiled, but I'm basically going to try and not spoil anything on this first part, but... I might have a slip up, I don't know, so let's hope. Alright, um, so basically this, this show is based on a book called 13 Reasons Why. I haven't read the book yet, I'm planning on reading it, um, but the series is, the movie, um, the TV series is really good. They only have two seasons so far, I think the, the third season they started re, um, filming I think. I'm not sure, um, but anyways, it's basically about this girl, Hiana, and when she goes through high school, and it's basically this guy, uh, this kid Clay is trying to find out why she killed herself and all that stuff, so she basically recorded herself. I think it was the la was the first two weeks or three weeks before she killed herself, and he Clay as Clay finds out that all of the other kids had listened to it, so he's like the last one that is listening to these tapes. So he starts listening to them, and he like starts getting all. Like seeing um, Hannah everywhere and everything, and you basically the you find out what she's been going through through all these we weeks or days, and finds out that she's been going through a lot of stuff and everything, and so all right, let's go through the characters of this show. Alright, there's Clay Jensen. He's the one that's in love with Hannah. And he's kind of like the really good guy. He's like a good guy. He's, he basically is always on Hannah's side. The only time he wasn't on her side when, when he found out that she was have a relationship with with um Justin so here we go and then there's Hannah Baker she's like my favorite character on the show next to Clay and she, the girl that plays her is Catherine Longford she's so pretty and she does a good job on this role she does such a good job and Hannah, she does, basically the character, she just moved to this, um, area to do the, um, go to this high school. I guess she had trouble before, like, bullying and stuff, so her parents moved there, and her dad has, like, a pharmacy that he runs, like a family business, and they basically do that and they kind of don't they're not rich they're like middle class so anyways um and then there's Tony who I love he's another character I love but not as much as Tana he's a great character he um he like took Hanna like he's like a good um friend to Hannah like in the end because she didn't really have friends very much in the end of her life and Tony basically put her under a wing is under his wing and tried to be a good friend to her which he was he was always there for her so let's see what else there's Jessica Davis she was she was Hannah's friend for I think for like maybe a week and then she started getting iffy on 
Hannah, which I didn't really like. I thought she was not a good person in the first season. The second season, she starts getting better. But the first season, she just, for some type of reason, she just didn't, wasn't a good person at all. And then there's Jason Forey. Forey? I can't say his last name. He... Uh, kind of iffy. He was a he's a good guy, but not really. Um, and the spoilers, I will tell you why. He and Jessica started dating. He dated Hannah for a little while, and then let Bryce, who was it, ass. He let him send all these pictures of Hannah that he took, and. Basically, Hannah was known as the slut at school. That was willing to give it up and everything, which wasn't true. So, yeah. And then, Bryce Walker. The rich guy that could get thinks he could get away with everything, but he can't. You find out in the second season. And it's like, oh, I hate this character so much. And it's the reason why you hate him. And I think he did a good job being a bad guy. But it's like, oh my god, I hate him so much. Because he's so full of himself. And it's like, he did, he's a good guy in some ways. Because he helped Jace, uh, Justin and stuff. Because Justin had a bad home life and everything. Which made him a good guy. But he... You find out during the seasons why he did it, or the reason he did it. So, yeah, he is a bad guy. I didn't like him at all. And then there's Alex Sternroll. He's a good guy. He has a really cool style, and he used to date Jessica for a little while. And you find out in the second season that he kind of like shot himself. And it's this, he basically, on the second season, he tries to find out why he was doing that. He was basically taking Clay's spot, it's like Clay and him, trying to find out what's happening with everything. So, let's see. And then there's Zach. Zach Dempsey, he's a good guy. But he was kind of pressured to be an asshole, kind of. And, but he's a good guy. He was, he's kind of like Clay in a bad sense, too. So, I liked Zach. He was a, he's a good guy. He's just, I don't know. He was in the football and everything. And he was trying to be the cool guy and everything. And you, you know what I mean? It's like, you're basically pressured to do all this stuff. And it's just not good. And let's see. Then there's, um, Lainey Jensen's, um, she's a good character, it's, um, Clay's mom, she's really a cool character, I like her a lot, she was getting pissed off at Clay most of the time, and she's a good character, I liked her, and then there's, Um, Taylor Down, he's kind of a weird, creepy guy. He's been bullied like Hannah, and he likes to stalk people and everything, so yeah, creepy. Let's see, um, Kevin Porter, I really liked him. He's a good character. He's, a um, was the counselor in high school and he's really cool I liked him a lot he's like one of those teachers that you love so much he's a good character I loved him a lot and he's handsome too so anyways um and then there's Olivia Baker Hannah's mom she's really cool um I some of the times I didn't agree with her because she was blaming the high school, which you, you're supposed to because the high school is supposed to be looking at that stuff. But you should be blaming the kids. The kids are the ones that are doing it, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But the it's not all the high school's fault, I think. 
And then there's Andy Baker. Um, he had his dad. He's a really good guy. I liked him. He's really a cute guy. He's he loved his mom. Um, he had his mom and always um, showed her that he loved her by buying her flowers all the time and then telling her that she's pretty and everything. And he's just such a really sweet guy. And I was amazed on the second season that they weren't together anymore. And I'm like, what happened? You know, it's like I guess this with Hannah's death, that they just couldn't be together anymore. There's not very many characters. The main characters are basically um, Hannah and Clay, and then you learn about the other students in the high school and everything. So it's basically it. It's basically about Hannah, and she's basically telling the whole story about what's happening at the high school and what's happening to her, and. This is basically it. So, um, I'm going to go on spoilers. So, if you guys don't want to watch, just don't watch it. Alright, so, basically, Hannah has been, like, she dated Jace, Jensen, she dated Justin, and then she kind of dated his eye for a little bit and then she she just made bad decisions and it's like um she started it started going bad after she dated Justin because she like I said in the last last minute um he started posting her pictures showing her that she was a kind of like a slut and everything she's willing really to give up herself and everything which bright she let you just didn't let price do it so bryce is basically the whole like made this whole thing happen and then she made a valentine thing and then she started kind of dating zach he only had one date well no you find in the second season that they're like actually serious you know like they actually had sex and they were a serious couple but no one knew about it because Zach wanted to keep it a secret and I think Zach like fell in love with her and stuff but in the first season you find out that Zach was kind of pressured into like trying to get her to have sex with him or press her to like he could take the first move on her, so he started touch. He like touched her leg and everything, and that made her not like that. I mean, well, who would? It's like if you first met this person, and he does this, you just start feeling very weird. So then she she just started making bad decisions, like. Even Clay started getting against her, which is sad because Clay was like kind of like her good friend. And she just started, I think, right after. I think after Zach. No, it was after when she went to the party at Bryce's. She just, I don't know what happened, why she did that, but. Bryce, oh, he, like, just forced her, like, on her, and he raped her, yeah. And then you find out during the seasons that Bryce raped Jessica, he raped so many girls, and he got away with it, and it's like, but he didn't get away with it, but he got away with it for a long time until he, they got, just go to court. And... It's like, that's when she started recording stuff. She asked Tony if he has a recording thing. And she started recording all that stuff. And then she just, I don't know. She just started feeling down with herself and everything. And then she, I think it was a year after. Or it was.
was like the next year. They started school. They're starting school and everything. And of course, Jessica's still with Jason, with Justin, and she is still involved in the cheerleading squad and everything. And Justin's still friends with Bryce, which doesn't make sense because he knew that Bryce um, raped Jessica. They were still together when when he raped her. So, anyways, she just Hannah's like cut her hair, trying to try to cope with what happened with her and Bryce, and she just decided that she didn't want to live anymore. And it's like the best episode was like the I think it was the last episode where you see that she is like actually deciding to kill herself. And it's like very like a good episode. It's like one of my it's like my favorite episode in the two seasons because you see that the girl that plays Hannah, I love her character like her acting because you see that she kind of like she's trying she's like society she's like in this zone like she's gonna do it and she did it and it's like oh my god it's like it's that's a good episode I love that episode it's like they actually show her like slit in the wrist and everything it's like this crazy and then you find out in the second season that Tony was there. No, you should find out in the first scene that Tony was there. He, like, found out. Like, Tony was trying to get away from... Was trying to stay away from Hannah because he thought she was, like, a drama queen. And she gave him the tapes that she recorded. And he, like, like listened to the first one and found, like discovery that she was going to kill herself that day or that night and he tried to get to her house like he was going to try to stop her because that's how Tony is he was a good guy he's kind of like it's like Clay it's like Clay would do probably do the, we would do the same thing so it's like you find out that he like saw her well not really see her he just saw a body bag and he knew it was her and carried her to the ambulance. So he was the first one to know because he was there. So anyways, the whole series, I give it like five stars. It's a great series. I love it. It's great teen drama, but it actually teaches you like if something happens, tell somebody, you know? And if, it's like, if you're going to kill yourself, try not to, you know, like, you basically, you have, you're, you're like, you're more a person, you're like, you're better to not kill yourself. It's like, I don't know, it's like, to me, if you're going to want to kill yourself, try not to, because... You, you should live. It's like, you have a life to live. And if you're unhappy, you can change it. It's like when I did. I was unhappy. And I changed my life and I'm happier. So you could do it. It's like, people are, I don't know, it's a really hard subject. And I don't want to upset anybody. Do you have an opinion on people um, killing themselves? Leave a comment and everything, so... I wanted to give it a 10, but you can't. But it's my favorite series next to <clears throat> Netflix series next to A House on Haunted Hill. It's a great series um, with good acting, with good teen actors and everything. So, and Stranger Things. I haven't watched the second season. I have to watch it. So anyways, that's basically it. I hope you guys like this episode. Um, remember to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. Remember to check my Instagram at Bessie the Goth. Bye guys.